Welcome everyone to our Hedrick sixth grade information night for those of you who are interested in applying for our sixth grade academy. I'm Beth Anderson, principal of Hedrick. I'm Jeremy Durst, assistant principal of Hedrick. And my name is Chad Johnson and I'm the other assistant principal and athletic director. Welcome. So tonight we're going to start with a short PowerPoint and then we're going to have some Q&A time and uh, we look forward to addressing all of your questions. Okay, so let's transition to our PowerPoint. All right, welcome to Hedrick Middle School. We are located on Jackson Street. We are home of the Hornets. As you can see, I'm Beth Anderson, principal of Hedrick. I've been here for about seven years, and it's my 38th year in education. And again, my name is Chad Johnson. I'm the assistant principal athletic director. This is my sixth year at Hedrick and my 18th year in education. I'm Jeremy Durst, other assistant principal at Hedrick. This is my 13th year in education and first year in Hedrick. Um, we have a Dean of Students. His name is Nate Beckstead, and something that our deans do many things to help out, but typically they build relationships with students and help them make better choices and also are responsible for discipline. Next, we have a Dean Assistant. Her name is Miss Becky Jones. She assists our Dean and as well as our administrators in working with kids and coaching them to make better choices. And she works a lot with our sixth grade academy students. Mm -hmm. uh, next, we have our lovely counselor, Ms. Bree Milhone, and she works with our students on social emotional learning, as well as she is available for counseling sessions, and she does career exploration with kids. Okay, our timeline. So first, just so you know, we have this information night tonight during our uh, Facebook live and we are going to put this link up on our Hedrick website. Friday, April 8th is the deadline when applications close. So if you're interested in having your student apply for the uh, sixth grade academy for next year, you need to have your application in by April 8th. Our, the lottery where the actual drawing will take place happens at district office. And that's going to be on Wednesday, April 13th, and I believe it's at 12.30 in the afternoon. And then finally, um, you, anybody who makes it into the 6th grade academy via the lottery will be emailed um, from district office, and that's how you'll be notified. And then finally, for those students chosen and coming to our 6th grade academy, we're going to have a welcome night on Tuesday, May 17th, starting at 6 o'clock in our gym. And it's just a short welcome and a time when you can walk and see the classroom. So it will be from 6 until 7. All right, what's it like to be in middle school? So at, in our middle school, just like at McLaughlin and at the next middle school coming in another year, um, kids are part of a team. There's approximately, in 6th grade academy, there's 120 students on a team, but in our 7th and 8th grade, there's about 150. Uh, each team is made up of four core teachers. We have math, science, social studies, and English language arts. We place all of the students on the same core team near each other, so there's not a lot of uh, need for transition. Students, when we are not in COVID times, we use our lockers as well as we have team activities and field experiences. And let's see, our exciting classes we already talked about. In addition to our core classes, kids get to take electives, PE and health, and then our ATI, which is an additional targeted um, instruction period where we work on iReady as well as social and emotional learning lessons. All right. And so one of the questions we always get is about sixth grade athletics. So I'm going to talk a little bit about sixth grade athletics. Unfortunately, as sixth graders, they don't have access to our full athletic program because our teams at Hedrick and McLaughlin are so large. But we do try to involve them in the activities that we have room. Uh, one of the things that sixth graders have access to right at the start of the, be start of the school year is called cross country. 
Uh, for those of you not familiar with cross country, cross country is a 3,000 meter run. It's just short of two miles. It's 1.8 miles where students run and they get to do exciting courses at different schools. Um, it's not just around a track. They get to do trail runs or um, other exciting courses that schools put on. And so that's a really fun group of students. We generally have around 100 athletes that come out for cross country. And so that's a fun way for your kid to get a, an instant connection to Hedrick. If they're interested in running, they could come out for cross country. In the winter time, we have wrestling. And that is a co-ed sport. Both boys and girls can participate in wrestling. Um, so they can do that. That's generally during that January and February time. And then to close out the school year, um, we do have a track season. And our track season is limited, but if our numbers are low enough, we will allow some sixth graders to come out and participate in some field events and some non-laned races. Um, but we are anxiously anticipating the opening of Oakdale Middle School. And when we have that opening, we hope that our sixth graders will be able to participate fully in all of our athletics throughout um, all of SOMSAC, and the Oregon Middle School Athletic Conference. Mm -hmm. so, Thank you. Yeah. Some activities that we offer at Hedrick Middle School include Brain Bowl, Math Counts, Penta Games, Geography Bee, Spelling Bee, uh, Battle of the Books, and then we have Student of the Month and Teacher Choice Awards. All right, once again, here is our timeline. So we're having our Q&A session tonight. Next Friday, April 8th, the applications for the Academy are due. Wednesday, April 13th, we will, we don't have it, but district office will have the lottery drawing and select the names of the students that will be coming to our sixth grade Academy in the fall. And then at, on Tuesday, May 17th, from 6 to 6.30, we will welcome our sixth grade Academy students and parents in the gym. All right, at this time, we're going to answer any questions you may have. All right, we have a few that came in early, so mm -hmm. let's start with those. Awesome. Um, can students from Logos Charter School apply for the lottery? And the answer is yes, you may apply. Um, how will I know if my son will be going to Hedrick? You will be contacted via an email from district office. How can I enroll my son to the program? It's an application and a lottery process, so you have to do it. Um, go to the Medford website, and you can apply online to the 6th grade academy. And let's see, is, the, is it the same curriculum as 6th grade who would be attending normally for 6th grade? How are they separated? So our 6th grade uses the same state standards as the sixth grade if they were in any elementary school. So the standards are the same. Um, and then how are they separated? I think what you're talking about is the students and as far as where are they located. So our sixth grade academy is a, um, a little bit separate from the seventh and eighth grade. So they have their own private wing area where they have all of their core classes. And they do have their own sixth grade lunch time as well. Okay, any other questions? And so if you have questions, if you could just chime in on the chat here, just go ahead and hit a comment. Um, we would love to hear from you and answer your question. And if you're not able to access right now, because we know some of you are really busy or still working, we will have this video link on our Facebook page so you can access it at any time. And then if you do have a question, feel free to email any one of us, chad.johnson, beth.anderson, jeremy.durst, at medford.k12.or.us, or you can just call us and one of us will get back to you and answer your questions. What are some questions people have had in the past since we don't have any going on there? Can you think of some questions? Mm, typically, a question that always pops up would be a nervousness or about lockers. Do students mm -hmm. have to have a locker? Well, when we're in non-COVID times, we do have lockers, but kids don't need to be nervous about that because we spend the first day where we have a soft start for incoming sixth graders and seventh graders, mm -hmm. and we take them through all of our procedures and we teach everybody how to do a locker. So that day is just about getting everybody comfortable and familiar with Hedrick. 
Awesome. Mm -hmm. um, another one we always get is on classes. Just mm -hmm. what, are, what do classes look like? And so our, our typical bell schedule at the middle school looks a little bit different than the elementary school. Mm -hmm. um, at the middle school, we have seven classes. And those classes are around 50 minutes a period. Mm -hmm. um, and then students have a few minutes in between every class period in order to get to class to class. And so they're able to um, get to class within about four minutes mm -hmm. um, is what we normally have on there. So mm -hmm. um, awesome. Hey, we got our first comment on here. Our first comment is, can a student participate in band with no prior experience with a band instrument? Mm -hmm. And so we do have a beginning band. Um, that's something we were really excited about because in the past that wasn't an option for our sixth graders, but now we do have a beginning band, and so that would definitely be something that students could access here at Hedrick Middle School. Mm -hmm. Great question. And Ivan in the back saying beginning orchestra also. So we have a beginning orchestra class for sixth graders too. Awesome. Mm -hmm. And then for our music department, we also have a choir department or a choir class. So we've got uh, band, choir, and orchestra. And we've got a, a really robust music department here in the Medford School District that we're really proud of. And our mm -hmm. middle school instructors do a great job of getting kids hooked and excited about it. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I was thinking another thing that, um, another question that comes up is about outdoor ed. Mm -hmm. And our sixth grade academy students do participate in the outdoor ed program. Awesome. All right. Hey, our, we've got another question here. What does drop off and pick up look like? And they're talking about just the process overall. Mm -hmm. So, um, we, we very can, busy. Yeah, we can talk about what we'd like it to look like, and we can talk about what it looks like. So right. um, for the most part, parents pick up and drop, drop off along Jackson Street. Mm -hmm. um, we would prefer that parents pick up and drop off on Pearl Street, which is on the other side of our football field because it's a safer destination for kids. Mm -hmm. However, pick up and drop off is, is kind of done right on Jackson Street. We just really hope that kids are safe when they're getting in and out of their vehicles and mm -hmm. that Parents are safe when they're driving off. We have had quite a few accidents there of people driving off and not seeing somebody. So um, Pearl Street would be best. Mm -hmm. However, kids, kids get picked up and dropped off throughout the day um, mm -hmm. and they just check into the office or check out of the office if it's during a school, during school time at that point in time. Um, another question came up about start and end times. So the sixth, seventh, and eighth graders are all on the same bell schedule. So we start for everybody at the same time. And one difference between elementary school and middle school is Wednesday. Wednesday in the elementary school, kids are let out early for early release for teachers to have PLC time in the afternoon. But at middle school, we start a little bit later. So our PLC time is in the morning. So um, this current school year, our kids start about 930 on Wednesdays. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Um, next question is, can kids be in choir and band, or do they have to choose one? So that's a little bit of a tricky question. Mm -hmm. For our sixth grade academy, the students get one elective. Mm -hmm. um, as, they, as we are able to monitor them and see how they're doing, um, sometimes there are, there are certain kids who may be able to access two electives. In the eighth grade. Yep, generally mm -hmm. in the eighth grade, but that's, that's generally those students who have shown proficiency in a lot of different levels. Um, and then they would take that in place of an ATI if they didn't need any of the supports that ATI offers, but um, that's on a case-by-case -case basis. Mm -hmm. They're all great questions. I mm -hmm. like them. See if we'll get any more coming in here. What is ATI? ATI is a period that we have every single day and it's a additional targeted instruction. And so what it looks like is on Mondays, students goal set as well as make up any missing worker assessments. On Tuesdays, all students do iReady lessons in math or reading. And they have to, the goal is that they complete so many lessons per week. On Wednesdays, we do social emotional learning lessons that are created by our school counselor. On Thursdays, it's an ATI day again. For iReady. For I, I'm sorry, for iReady. Mm -hmm. And then Fridays, uh, that day is our team building and kind of regrouping and seeing what kids need to finish up for the week. So that's our ATI. Awesome. Should we talk a little bit about what iReady is for people sure, who don't know what sure. iReady is? So, mm 
Um, so iReady is a, a diagnostic program that is used for both reading and math here in our school district. Um, and what's really neat about this program is kids take a diagnostic on it and it figures out what level they are at. And so it's individually tailored for every student. So even if you've got a student who is exceptionally high in reading or math, um, they are able to have challenging material specially designed for them um, in that iReady program and it, so it continues to, to grow, grow them in both reading and math. Mm -hmm. um, we have a question regarding numbers, how many students are selected for the sixth grade academy and the school district selects 120 students for the Hedrick sixth grade academy. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Mr. Durst, you want to get that next one on there? Yeah. Are there any areas for kids to store items like a bike or roller skates if they roll to school? Mm -hmm. And the answer would be yes. We've got some walking skateboard uh, skateboard racks out on the front and also some bike racks in a couple of different locations that students could lock up. I think they would need to provide their own lock, mm -hmm. um, but yeah. Mm -hmm. Awesome. And then um, when we have lockers, some students, depending on the size of their skateboards, some of them have those little penny boards and the smaller skateboards that aren't the long boards. Um, some students choose to put those in their lockers as well. Mm -hmm. And some check them into either SMO or the front office if mm -hmm. they're the big ones. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What other questions do you guys have? These have been great questions so far. All right, we'll go for just a little more time. Otherwise, we're gonna call it a, an evening. What is SMO? So SMO is our student management office where students who need a timeout spend you know whatever time they need for a timeout they can also have in school detention there or in school suspension and some students who need a break will also go to our student management office for a break with a break card next question was do students share lockers currently we're not using lockers uh, but i predict i'm kind of i'm hoping we can have lockers for next year um, but each student has their own locker and we ask that they do not share their combination with anybody else because that's where we run into trouble. So yes, they get their own locker and they need to keep their com combination private. And speaking of lockers, the other interesting part for sixth graders as they come in is they will get a, a locker where they'll keep their backpack and their items that's close to their classroom. And then when they take PE, they will also be issued a PE locker. So they'll get to keep their separate PE clothes and things like that down in the area. Mm -hmm. So awesome. Looks like we got two more that just came in. Um, one question, how many apply? So I'm assuming that's how many apply for our sixth grade academy. And that has changed over the years. Mm -hmm. But um, unfortunately, we always do have to turn people away. Um, and what that looks like is we keep a waiting list. Mm -hmm. And so if your child was not accepted, and it's something that you guys really are hoping for, we keep a waiting list. And then if we have somebody that chooses the, um, that they no longer want to be in the academy before the school year starts, uh, we would open that up to the next person. Mm -hmm. Or sometimes we have people that move throughout the school year, and so we're able to open that up. And if it's right for that family, then we can transition their student over here to Hedrick in our sixth grade academy. And that brings up another good point is make sure that you really do want to be part of the sixth grade academy because once you make the commitment and if you're selected for the lottery and you are on the sixth grade academy then that's that's the choice for the school year we don't do transfers back and forth back to the other uh, elementary school yep. so you need you will stay at Hedrick Middle School awesome then another question is, um, do we have separate gym or lock, gym locker slash shower areas? And yep, we absolutely do. We've got uh, one side designated to our, our ladies and one side designated to our gentlemen um, where they will change. There are showers that are available. However, one of the fears for middle school students is they feel like they have to shower in front of other people. And our showers are not used very often at all, although they are available for those students who wanna use it. And showering is not required. So they don't have to shower after PE class. Um, so that's always one of those things that some of our sixth graders are nervous about. So. But do send them with deodorant. Yes. <laughs> I was going to say sometimes a shower may not be a bad thing. But. Well, it looks like I'm not seeing any more questions. 
We're very excited by our incoming sixth grade academy. We can't wait to meet you all. Um, hope that we've been able to address any questions or concerns you might have, and we look forward to meeting you on, let me see the date, May, May 17th at 6 o'clock in the gym if you are selected for 6th grade academy. All right, have a great evening. Bye-bye.